Hi guys, right, what we have here is it's the rear cover off the of the engine. Um, as you can see, it's in a pretty bad state. Uh, this cover has been outside for probably the bones of 10 years. Um, the cover itself is solid, it's very solid. Uh, if you look inside, the the, uh, the windings inside, there's a lot of crud in there, so I'm going to pull all that out. The final drive, the final drive's going to be pulled out as well because I don't like the idea of this being as rusty and as bad as it is. It turns fine, but there's, there's a bearing in here, and chances are that bearing is shot. So what I'm actually going to do is, uh, this is the other one, uh, the one with the damaged thread and the damaged uh, the, the chip and piece out of it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull all this lot out, and I'm going to transfer it to the new case when the new case is all cleaned up. So for now, anyway, for tonight, um, I'm going to get this final drive out, and I'm going to get the alternator out, and... Uh, start cleaning up the whole lot okay this is the two um rear engine covers this is the one that's come off the come off the engine this is the one that's going on i've removed the output shaft bearing uh the windings for the alternator sit inside here and the clutch will eventually go in here as you can see there's a clean the clutch is there that's the original kickstart mechanism which isn't on this one because this is a case from a newer engine but i don't need the kickstart mechanism anyway because it's uh, I, I would never be able to use it because the kickstart is on the side of this icar um, that that then is the bearing for the output shaft. So uh, the job now is on this is all on this. Um, the the whole inside has got to be cleaned. It's, it's all sort of corroded and stuff inside there, but it's not that bad. It can actually be cleaned quite well. Um, the whole outside of the case, as you can see, is absolutely filthy, but it's solid. So the job for tonight is clean all of this, make it all right, and ready to go on the bike for the weekend. Okay. Right. That's the clutch assembly all sorted and in. Um. A quick word of advice for anybody who's messing around with these. Um, there's a hub nut inside the back there. It needs a special tool which can be made. I made that out of an old uh, uh, an old socket. It only takes a few minutes to make one. Most important thing is make sure and torque them down to the proper specs. Because if you don't, the whole bloody thing will come apart and fall apart inside in the middle. The same as these, these guys here. Get all them in. Torque them down properly. No messing. Get the torques right. Um, so that's all sorted, ready to go. Uh, cover is primed, cleaned and primed and ready to go. They, that's only the old cover. Don't worry about that. Uh, this is all ready to go. I'll be fitted tomorrow. I'm actually working on the actual cover that's going, the proper cover that's going on that at the moment. Um, I've a lot of old sort of old gasket goo here and just general shite, which must be cleared off of it. And get all that tidied up tomorrow. Um, get all the mating surfaces here all cleaned back up and put the covers back on, and we'll be ready for paint tomorrow. Okay, right. That's the clutch started. Completely rebuilt now. In and in. Um, I've got a new uh, alternator windings inside there. That's all That's all sorted. That came from the other engine. It was absolutely mint on the other engine. So I said I transferred it over um, because I knew it was good. Um, the drive shaft's back in. As you can see inside there, there's a brand new bearing inside there. And as you can see, that's that's the hole there. Let's shine a light in there. There's your drive shaft going through inside there. You can see it there now. If I turn this guy, if I turn that guy, that, that cog there, you'll see... Your drive shaft sorted out there so that's that done so now what i've got left to do now is i've got to put back on the fuel pump and put back on this inspection cover and we're sorted and that's it then then that's putting it back up and ready for paint all right i have all the covers on the engine everything's all sorted now torqued in place and all gaskets everything else done um i pulled that cover there and to pull that cover out to take the fuel pump off so i cleaned the fuel pump and primed it while it was off there's new gaskets gone in there, new gaskets gone in here. So all I do now tomorrow is I'm going to clean all the engine down, prime it up, and get a coat of paint on it. So uh, as you can see, it's all sorted, ready to rock. Um, I also checked the electronic ignition uh, inside here. It's all It looks perfect, spotlessly clean, so I'm going to keep on to that. And uh, I'll check the, bo the, the box on the other end. I have two, so one of them is definitely going to be okay. Anyway, just painting on the engine. First coat of black already on. Excuse the muffled voice, but I've got a mask on for the painting. So what I'm doing now is giving a bit of accent paint to the to the diff. That will now be painted black again and rubbed down and several coats of lacquer will go on top of that. And on the engine, the same thing except as orange. 
and I have to put it on when it's wet because I want it to interact with the black paint. And it'll be two pack lacquer then it'll be finished with. That's the second uh, series of black to stone. Uh, as, you, as you saw in an earlier video, I completely coated out the engine first in black. Let that set for about three or four minutes, maybe five minutes. Then, cover, then coated it with orange. Let that set for the same, about four or five minutes again. And then went on top of that again with the black. Uh, the reason I'm sort of doing different colours on top of each other is for the paint, I need the paint to react with each other. The orange to mix with the black. The orange will dry faster than the black, so what will end up happening is you'll get some cracks here and there, which will give it a sort of an old effect. Um, I'll come back tomorrow then, rub all that down uh, with water paper when it's, the whole lot's completely dry, and what you'll get is you'll get a patina of orange coming through the black, and I'll lacquer the whole lot in then, and that will finish the whole lot. Okay? That's the engine finished. All ready to go back on the bike. And as you can see, it's actually, I'm very, very happy with it. It's looking really, really good. Sorry about the muffled sound, but I've got the, I've got my mask on at the moment, so, from all the fumes. But as you can see, it's actually turned out really well. I've also done the diff. So they're very shiny at the moment, they'll actually dull down now to slightly above a matte finish by the time they're done. By the time they'll dry off properly. So there you go guys, that's the biggest part of the bike project in terms of the preparation done. So, we're almost ready for assembly. Okay, see you later guys, bye bye.